Hey everyone, this is uh, Aryan, and uh, you're probably wondering why I'm in front of the camera instead of behind it and shooting awesome LEGO footage. Uh, well, it's because I wanted to share a few things with you. The first thing is that I reached 20,000 subscribers on my main channel and that's uh, really something that I really enjoy. And for some of you it might not seem a lot, but for me it is. And, uh, I really like to see that there are other people around that like my stuff and that I'm not the only one that likes my stuff. So uh, I want to thank you for that and uh, I'm hoping that my channel will grow on the same uh, speed in 2016. Um, the other thing I wanted to discuss with you is I'm here in my new attic. Uh, we moved in the new house two months ago, something like that, and we were busy with finalizing the house and also the attic is now finalized so I wanted to show you my new project space so let's have a look uh, you're on the tripod so I need to unscrew you it sounded a bit weird but you know what I mean with that all right here we go um, so let's go to the door so if you look to the left we have my desk and my Lego stash and it's all sorted out so that makes life a little bit easier and uh, the main thing is here it's the big space uh, that is available um, in my old house i needed to clear out the living room to set up a nice layout so i had to ask my girlfriend to go away for the weekend which she already always did very nice of her and uh, once the living room was cleared out i could um, set up a layout and also test and commission the automation of it uh, together with a friend of mine so uh, but it was always very stressful since we had only two or maximum three days in which we could do it so that's why I'm very very happy with this space over here and I can set up a layout and build and test uh, it completely in time I want to use for it another cool thing is this closet over, closet over here and um, as you can see, I've put all my Lego trains in here. And um, I've done this because I was losing the overview uh, which trains I had and which trains were complete, which were not, blah, blah, blah. And also which trains had a motor. Uh, normally I put them in these bins and they always broke down. So I install them in here now. It's very nice. And as you can see, they rest on plastic straps that fall between the wheels so they uh, they keep on standing straight um, furthermore there's a nice wallpaper over here the Italian Alps where I lived for a few years uh, good memories um, it will not be used as a background as some people uh, suggested it's just a nice picture and uh, nice memories and that's it um, fortunately I have to do with this kind of landscape the flatlands of the Netherlands so that's why I've put this picture over here so I can uh, dream away once in a while um, alright the last thing I wanted to discuss with you is uh, this station train station that I'm building in Lego Digital Designer and um, it's finished it has two, uh, 20,000 bricks and uh, it has a uh, roof uh, with the terrace on it, it, it's gonna have working elevators, working escalators. Uh, there's gonna be a monorail station and also a little bus station. So that'll be fun, I guess. And as you can see, the Bricklink packages are coming in. And I'll start building it this weekend. So um, I will be posting a video on my work in progress channel regularly. Uh, on the progress of the building of this station so don't miss that one check that channel out regularly and uh, once finished I'll obviously make an awesome video that I'll post on this main channel so I promise the next few videos won't be with my head but with awesome Lego footage alright that's it thank you very much for uh, watching this video and uh, I hope to see you next time bye